Now, ladies and gentlemen, the great real reporter at the Washington Examiner, Paul Bedard, he's reporting that the Obama administration has released a huge majority of illegal immigrant children who poured over the U.S.-Mexican border earlier this year into dozens of Tony counties without notifying the public while deporting only 280. So again, Obama lies through his teeth to us. The Health and Human Services Department released a list of 126 counties, 29,890 of the kids were placed into, sometimes with their parents who are also in the United States, illegally. And of course, Richard Trumka thinks this is wonderful. Tom Donahue of the U.S. Chamber of Crony Capitalism is all for it. Those counties include, <coughs> excuse me, some of the most exclusive in the nation, including the Washington suburbs of Fairfax and Loudoun and Virginia and Howard and Montgomery and Maryland. Fairfax received 1,023. Congratulations. States like California and New York were given large numbers of the unaccompanied children, while Obama's home state of Illinois, where experts expected many to go, received only 175. Why? Should be 17,500 of them. Next year could be even worse. Federal officials who predicted that 90,000 illegal immigrant children will enter the U.S. this year from Latin America are projecting that to increase to 142,000 next year. How can that possibly be? Our friends in the Mexican government are making sure, the federales, that these Latinos from Central and South America, south of their border, can't get to our border, I thought. Or is that all phony? Yes, phony. And the Republican Party, never forget, two and a half months ago or so, was all for this. This anarchy was all for it. And the Republican Party, which controlled the White House, the House, and the Senate for six years under Bush, did not secure that border. Mark, vote Republican. We'll fix the border. Uh, no, we won't.